Sasha here for netbooknews.com. Um, I got new gadgets thanks to my friend uh, Nicola, aka Charbox, um, the editor in chief of um, techvideoblogger.com and uh, armdevices.net. I got a new Arcos 5 internet tablet and I'm just about to do the unboxing over here. As you can see, I have the 160 gigabyte version with one gigabyte of RAM. And um, yeah, let's take a look at it. I mean, there's not so much to uh, get unbox with this device. It's pretty quick. Oh. Hey, there we go. Little fingerprint magnet, glossy display. Hello. <laughs> so yeah, um, that's a 4.8 inch touch screen. And it comes with uh, Google Android 1.5, even though I did an update last night. Mm. So I'm going to show this to you some later. Uh, what else is in the box? Uh, we have a little stand, um, which is pretty much useless. Sorry to say this, Arcos, but hey, how can I use it at this angle on my desk? Hello? How about using it this way, right? Mm. So like 30 degrees, to, uh, uh, 35 degrees to the back. Um, this is just not working out, and so therefore it's pretty useless for, uh, for me. Um, but I still love the device, and I'm going to tell you later why. Um, let's leave it with a USB cable, uh, cable that you, cable. Sorry, I'm German. Um, that's a little USB cable that you use for recharging the battery, but of course also for doing file transfers onto your internet tablet. There's a little headset, yeah, pretty good one actually. And there is a little voucher code, ticket, whatever, for 33, uh, 33 free MP3s and a free audiobook. Oh. I'm going to check that out some later. And there's a little quick start guy, a guide that I just don't really need at all because um, the operating system speaks for itself. Uh, let's take a look at the device finally. As I said, Arcos 5 internet tablet. Let me clear professional cleaning cloth yeah absolutely <laughs> um yeah 4.8 inch uh, display 800 by 480 is the resolution i'm um, pretty good uh, let's take a quick look around the system there are a couple of uh, connectors because you can also um buy an additional dvbt mm. um yeah, what is it? Uh, interface, whatever, receiver, let's say receiver. So you can also watch uh, videos on your Arcos. Um, on the left side, we have um, that's a, a micro USB connector. So you can get your USB uh, charging cable on there. And there is uh, um, the headset jack. On top, we have a volume control buttons and the power button. And there is pretty much nothing on the right. Pretty much. Stylus? Nothing. No, that, that's, that's not a stylus. Oh. Just the feet oh, of it. <laughs> so, hey, you know what? How about switching it on? Here we go. And as you can tell, you know, even during bright daylight, mm. I think it's it's still pretty cool to, to see what's going on on the screen. It's pretty good. Um, even though, of course, it has this mirror effect. It takes a while because I, I got the hard disk version. Um, I really wanted to get the 32 gigabyte SSD version. So it's starting from eight gigabyte SSD, goes up to uh, 32 gigabyte SSDs. And uh, for hard disk, it's starting, I think, at 60 gigabyte and goes up to 500 gigabytes. So this one comes with a 160 gigabyte hard disk. And um, yeah, the speed is pretty reasonable. Here we are. Mm. That's the front end. Might look familiar to um, Google Android users, especially this little, oh, there we go. So you have all kinds of pre-installed uh, software on it. Um, it even comes, there's even a version with GPS using N-Drive. Let's see if it's, uh, I think it's, it, it's still uh, pointing <laughs> at the headquarters of uh, Arcos in Paris. So I think my, my system doesn't support a GPS module at all. And yeah, the touchscreen is very responsive. Mm. 
as you can tell, are. It's, it's, it's easy to, to point at things. Um, how about some, some media playback? It's, it, it's really playing pretty much everything. Um, let's go to, here we go. Talking about the responsive touch screen, and then it's not working. <laughs> so, let's see what kind of videos we have here. Uh, and even, you know, pretty decent speakers. That's how, that's how it looks like when we are making a uh, vacation or going on holidays with all our advertisement money, right? Yeah, totally. <laughs> so, uh, we, we just came back to film this little hands-on video and then we're going back to this little island and back to vacation. That would be nice, so well, sponsors the out there, we need more money. <laughs> <laughs> we need to live this dream. <laughs> so, yeah. Let's go back and back to, of course, you can also go immediately back to the main menu over there. So here is DVB-T. We got a couple of links to services on the internet or to applications that are using the internet. There's TwitDroid, a Twitter client, which is, which is pretty good. Um, we also have a browser. Unfortunately, I don't have a Wi-Fi over here right now. We are uh, at the Shanghai Shek Memorial Hall in Taipei. So, but hey, let's take a look. Maybe, maybe they, maybe they even have a Wi-Fi. Let's go back, and um, we're going into the settings here. Then there is wireless control, and then there is Wi-Fi switched on. Let's see. Oh, here's an open network. Oh, and there's a Wi-Fi network. Actually, I don't have a voucher code anymore. I do. You do? Hold on. Yeah. So, it. so sorry about that, guys. I actually didn't have the card in my purse, so we, we're not getting online. <laughs> we love to be prepared when we're shooting our videos, right? So um, this is a kind of live stream that is getting recorded, right? <laughs> okay, so nothing staged over here. Anyways, um, let's go back over here. As I said, a couple of applications. Um, of course, you can also listen to your music. Let's see if um, Arcos puts some music on there. go yeah um, maybe maybe not oh there's something on here um. oh that was actually the power button you can also switch off uh, the screen Here we go. So yeah, pretty cool interface, pretty simple um, to control. Uh, we have the album cover. So of course, this is a little bit different compared to your iPod Touch. Way better resolution, bigger screen, and, and I love the internal speakers. They are really pretty loud. So, okay, let's go back. I'm going to show you what else is on here. Okay, we can immediately go back to the... How many hours of battery life does it get? Um, that's a rather good question, Nicole. Thanks for bringing <laughs> this up. And I'm very well pre uh, prepared for this question. Um, it should run, let's say, for, for some three hours, okay. in my opinion. Um, but I'm going, to, I'm going to try this out in the next couple of days. I think I'm going, I'm going to do a live stream uh, very, very soon. Um, and, and showing all my other... Uh, MID devices. So yeah, the Arcus 5 internet tablet starting at around, I think, 200 euros, um, which is roughly around 2.3 million dollars. Um, no, actually 250 uh, to 300 dollars, depending on where you are. And uh, um, yeah, it, I, I, think it's, I think it's a cool device. I've been playing around with it just for one day right now. Um, my first impression is really cool. I've been using Twitroid on it. I've been surfing the web with it. And um, YouTube is pretty cool on it too, right? It's not limited to only specific YouTube videos like we have on so many media t tablets and even on the iPhone. You, 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 can, you can play back every YouTube video with it. And it's also um, doing playback on most of the media files that I know. So yeah, first impression, cool device. Um, I love to have it for sofa surfing. And by the way, if you want to use the Android Marketplace, you should head over to jkkmobile.com, our friend from the Meet Mobility team, and he has some little hacks on how you can do that. So that's the Arcos 5. 
internet tablet with Google Android 1.5.